So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Hilo, Hawaii, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Look at him whip his hip to that kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Sneaky head kick. Blocks the shot. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, big shot lands. Look at him moving and trying to shut the liver down. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have 
got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big head kick land. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back in range. He's real tricky when he throws these head kicks over and over again. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Three minutes remain in the round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's trying to double up on that jab. Just out of range with the big right hand. And they separate. Keep your hands up. Your oh! Good punch, Lance. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! And he landed the right hand there. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lands a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice head kick. Beautiful combination there. He engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Big kick. Good straight hand there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing. Box. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good stick. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Paul landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. How good is that right hand? Final seconds of round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice job of hiding that head kick. Right hand upstairs. Right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Nice. Mass 
massive head kick. Nice leg kick lands. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice loop and punch. Beautiful head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful body kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Both guys really throwing with authority. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice punch here. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? What a tricky head kick. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Nice. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, connects with the one-two. That's a good knee to the body. Big kick land. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on.
your kicks are worth. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Punches in bunches. <laughs> And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Leg kick lands. Great punch landing with so much power. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Big kick. Beautiful combination there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, sneaky start with the oh. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. He went high on that one. Three minutes to go in round three. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, that's a nice strike. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Left hand punch with the clinch. Battle for position here. Please kick his blocks. Is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. He lands flush with that right hand. Just over two minutes to go in the round. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. up his target, he's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Oh man, this is one thing you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy can. That's a perfect scramble right there, beautiful transition. Miss with that jab attempt there. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness the striking has been on point every step of the way careful to not gas out but you gotta like the output here down the stretch look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick right on the button and they separate very 
tricky when he throws that body kick. Checks the leg kick. Alright, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Oh, he just a slip there. Caught the kick. Oh, thunderous leg kick. He lifted it a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. More than one, more than one. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great punch. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Head kick, that's a miss. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Take many of those, better check. Straight right hand, no good. Big head kick. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got a bad. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip to push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice hit. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.